O Lord Jesus Christ. There are some passionate and disturbing words from the Lord in today's Gospel. Passionate but disturbing. Number one. Jesus mentions His deep desire to cast fire on the earth. The Lord says, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. My dear friends, in the Old Testament, the imagery of fire is a symbol of of the powerful presence of God. We can cite some illustrations. We remember Moses at the burning bush. We remember the pillar of fire that accompanied the Israelites by night as they wandered through the desert to the promised land. We remember the tongues of fire that hovered over the disciples at Pentecost. Fire is a symbol of the enduring presence of God. If we will apply it to our life, to the seminarians, to Brother Eugene and myself included, the spark of vocation, the fire of vocation, that must become a blaze must be kept do we still have the intensity do we still have the passion for our vocation do we still have the fire for our vocation do you still have the fire for your work do you still have the fire for your life do you still have the fire for your profession our wish not only for our seminarians, but for everybody is that you keep the fire of God burning in your heart. It is this fire of Pentecost that burns the hearts of men and women and draws them to change the direction of their lives. And for the wish of Jesus to take place we have to play our part. We need to spread some of that fire of God's love everywhere. The bottom line is that we have to keep the fire of God burning in our hearts. The second, our Lord expresses a longing for His baptism to be accomplished. The Lord says, There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Baptism here refers to the terrible suffering. Baptism refers to the death by which man will be liberated and saved. The rite of baptism where the person to be baptized was immersed in the baptismal pool was seen as a parallel to Jesus going down into death and emerging to new life of the resurrection. This is the second point in the Gospel. The third, that the Lord said, He has come not to bring peace but division on the earth at first sight this is a difficult saying it does not make any sense at all is jesus not the prince of peace why did he say that he did not come to bring peace but division isn't that a contradiction in terms when he claims he is the Prince of Peace? Did Jesus not say at the Last Supper that he was giving his peace to the disciples, a peace that the world could not give and that no one could take away? 
Did he not also say, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest? Was the final greeting of the risen Christ to his disciples in the upper room not peace be with you yes my dear friends but he also warned the disciples that after he was gone they should expect a rough ride in life the disciples would be hold before rulers and governors they would be beaten they would be jailed and put to death and people would think they were doing well in reading the world of the disciples and in that sense Jesus was certainly not going to bring peace and by the time this gospel was written the prophecy of Jesus had been well borne out and there was a lot more to come the breakup of families father against mother parents against children in-laws against in-laws were unfortunately only too common as one or more members in a family decided to follow Christ and be baptized this must have been very painful experiences which no one wanted Jesus warned that those who wished to follow him had to be ready if necessary to leave home and family and enter into a new family of brothers and sisters this is the missionary spirit of the church our seminarians here at Christ the King and in Tagaytay when they become priests they will be missioned to different parts of the world some of them will go to Zimbabwe others will go to Ghana and Congo to Papua New Guinea and Japan Australia Argentina Brazil Bolivia Portugal Germany Cuba the SVD is some in some 80 countries all over the world are you ready to leave home are you ready to leave family and enter into a new family of God in another place in another country as missionaries that is why the challenge for us by the gospel today especially to the seminarians slowly slowly detach yourself from your family my dear friends what does this last point in the gospel tell us for all of us it is saying that the essence of christianity is that loyalty to christ takes precedence over even the dearest loyalties of this earth this does not mean that we love our families less that is not the point it does not mean that we love our families less but it means that we love Jesus more in final analysis Christianity is not for the weak of heart discipleship is not for the coward it is for the brave it is for the strong discipleship is for the faithful